the longest-serving senator in U.S. history, has died. Senator Robert Byrd of West Virginia was in and out of the hospital during his final years of serving in Congress. During his long career as president pro tempore, he was third in line to the presidency and served as the high-ranking chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Growing up in the poverty of the West Virginia coal fields, Byrd committed his life to building a brighter future for the Mountain State. He met his wife, Irma Ora James, in high school. The couple married shortly after graduation. While supporting his new family, Byrd could not afford college. After 10 years of classes taken while also serving as a member of Congress, Byrd earned his law degree from American University in 1963. In 1985, Byrd launched the first federal merit-based scholarship. Since its inception, tens of thousands of students across the country have helped pay their tuition bills through this initiative. In the halls of Congress, Robert Byrd was best known for his fierce defense of the Constitution. The Almanac of American Politics has said that Byrd may come closer to the kind of senator the Founding Fathers had in mind than any other. Byrd's record is marked with controversy, though. In the 1940s, Byrd was an active member of the Ku Klux Klan. Many of his early political views strongly opposed civil rights. Byrd personally filibustered a civil rights bill for 14 hours. However, later in his life, Byrd went on record as saying he was wrong about his racist views. In his autobiography, he wrote, I was sorely afflicted with tunnel vision and admits having an immature outlook on life. Throughout his career, Byrd cast nearly 18,000 roll call votes. His staff remembers him as a statesman, patriot, and defender of the Constitution, and a proud son of West Virginia. Senator Byrd was married for nearly 69 years. His wife passed away in March 2006 after battling a long illness. Robert Byrd considered himself blessed to have two daughters, several grandchildren, and numerous great-grandchildren. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.